Anytime we start a project, we first need to lay out a concept just to see what kind of impacts we have on any given project. And as you can see on these two alternatives for the Top End 285 Express Lane project, we have one layout on the bottom and one layout on the top with two different alternatives. One on the bottom shows you what the red lines indicate as potential right-of-way need for the project. Property we need to purchase to help build the project and operate it for long-term uh, traffic reasons. The right-of-way acquisition process is, is a very complicated, federally mandated process that GDOT must follow the Uniform Relocation Assistance Act. That not only governs the process under which we purchase the property, but it also governs the relocation benefits and processes that a property owner would be entitled to if they should be displaced by one of our projects. How do we determine if someone is displaced is not a right-of-way decision, it is driven by the design of the project itself. So on the bottom you can see we have around 50 uh, property impacts on this given alternative. And as we work through the environmental process and the public involvement process, and engineering process, we try to find ways to minimize and mitigate and avoid these types of impacts. So as you move toward this second alternative, which we're proposing on the Top End 285 Express Lane project, you can see a lot less impact from a right-of-way perspective. And we've been able to reduce the, what was 53 parcel impacts to around 21 parcel impacts on this second alternative. We still need some property for the project because we can't fit everything within our right-of-way. But as we go through the acquisition process, we go and actually make offers to property owners so that we can make a, a negotiation process relatively easy and, and, and pain-free when it comes to that, and then ultimately uh, purchase the property for the project and move forward with uh, construction. To determine the process, we first contact the property owner to let them know what the property impacts are. We talk about how we'll go about valuing the property, that an independent appraisal is prepared, and that appraisal is the basis for the offer that they're made.